A very warm welcome to Hinchley Wood School. My name is Ben Bartlett and I'm the executive head teacher here. I'd like to welcome you to this, our first ever virtual open evening. And as a parent of three children who've attended local secondary schools, I appreciate that this can be an anxious time as you look to make the right decision for your child. We're all aware we only have one chance to make that decision, so it's important that we make it from a position of being very well informed. And we hope that you find this evening helpful in making the right choice for your child. Underlying everything that we do is our vision, what we regard as our purpose, which is inspiring our learners, learners who are committed to sustainability, caring for themselves, caring for each other, their environment and the future. At Hinchley Wood, we aim to deliver this vision by promoting our five values. These are values that we believe are crucial in developing the young leaders of the future. They're the values that you can see displayed behind me. We want our students to show enthusiasm and a determination to succeed even when the going gets tough. We want our students to develop the confidence to ask for help when they need it and to work independently when they don't. We also want them to be considerate, respectful and to treat those around them in the kind of considerate way they will want to be treated themselves. In order to truly inspire the young people entrusted to our care, we offer exciting learning opportunities, high standards and outstanding results, impressive facilities, a wide range of enrichment activities and outstanding pastoral care. On this virtual open evening, we hope you will get a small flavour of our school and what we offer to our learners by watching the presentations on our website. But if you have any questions after watching our online resources, then please do not hesitate to ask them on the Google document accessed by the link on our Open Evening website page. We will produce a frequently asked questions document and add it to the same web page for all prospective parents and carers before the end of the week. So moving on to those exciting learning opportunities. Our core business is teaching and learning and we have a relentless focus on teaching lessons of the very highest quality. Lessons which stimulate and inspire young minds. A relevant, up-to-date and attractive curriculum to ensure that all students are able to achieve to the best of their ability. Yes, a core of fundamental skills including improved literacy and communication skills, but also an independence and an ability to be robust in the face of challenges. Although we believe that setting viability is important for effective learning, we believe it must be introduced gradually if all students are to retain confidence in themselves. For this reason, in Year 7, all teaching is in mixed ability tutor groups with ability setting introduced in subsequent years as children progress through the school, apart from a small group of Year 7 students who work in our transition group where they spend much of their week together to receive additional literacy and numeracy support. We believe in calm working environments and disciplined environments and consistent behaviour from all members of the Hinchley Wood School community. Where the very highest standards of behaviour and dare I say it, old fashioned good manners are not just expectations, but they're part of the day to day culture of the school. A view supported by Ofsted who said, there is a highly positive ethos of behaviour for learning and achievement. None of this would be possible without our highly qualified and committed staff. I'm certainly proud to be part of the Hinchley Wood School staff. Good teachers don't just teach, they give something of themselves. And I can honestly say that is a feature in the staff of this school which is reflected in our students' achievements. Ofsted said teachers have strong subject knowledge and excellent classroom management skills and use these to inspire learning very effectively. And I believe the basis for much of this success 
is the outstanding pastoral support which is given to all our students. If students don't feel secure, they will not learn. Each child here is treated as an individual and that is important. Children are well known here both by their tutors and their head of learning. Staff who take a genuine interest in every child, getting to know their individual strengths and those areas where they may need additional support. That support starts with our excellent transition programme and continues as our New Year Sevens join us with an outstanding pastoral care system delivered by a team of dedicated tutors, a head of learning, specialist support offered by a full-time student support coordinator for students in each key stage, our relational support worker and two part-time school counsellors. A truly excellent team of specialist staff for those students of any age in need of additional support. For students with additional learning needs, our students are supported by a SENCO and a team of learning support assistants in a dedicated special educational needs area, not to mention the specialist support offered to a small number of students with a prime diagnosis of autism who join our Cullum Centre each year. If you have any questions regarding our support for learners with additional needs, please do watch the SEND presentation accessed via the website. We're also extremely proud of the high standards and outstanding examination successes of our students. For each and every student, we want success. We're proud of the success achieved by so many of them, and some of that success is quite outstanding, as shown by our excellent public examination results. You'll be pleased to hear that once again, we're in a very strong position after a slightly unusual summer of results. So the headline figures for last year's Year 11 cohort show that 96% of all students achieved five or more grades at four and above, breaking the 90% mark for the fourth successive year, with 92% of the cohort achieving five or more grade fours, including a grade four or above in English and maths. We were equally delighted that 48% of all GCSE grades achieved this summer were at grade seven or above, the equivalent of the old grade A. For the fourth successive year, our students performed at least six GCSE grades better than their peers nationally, given their key stage two starting points. Value added for students of all abilities and outcomes which place us amongst the top 200 schools in England in terms of the progress our students make. Our A-level results are also of an excellent standard, with more than 40% of all grades achieved at a, an A-star, 77% A-star to B grades, and seven students achieving a clean sweep of three A-star grades. But it's not just the very high grades we're proud of, but also the outstanding progress that allowed all our sixth form students to achieve fantastic results and progress to the next stage in their education. Every single year 13 student who wanted to go on to study at university this year has been able to do so, accepted by their first or reserve choice, their path at their chosen university on their choice of course. And if listening to this you're thinking, well, why is Mr Bartlett talking to us about the sixth form? It's because we want your choice to be a choice for seven years of education for your son or daughter. And in order for our students to be so successful, we have unashamedly high expectations of them, including smart uniform, which includes the wearing of a blazer, shirts tucked in and 12 stripes on a tie, excellent punctuality and attendance, good manners, and the expectation that our students will do as they're asked the first time of asking. Yes, they're adolescents, so they will make mistakes, but our expectation is clear. We expect they'll do as they're asked first time of asking. In recent years, we've also enhanced the facilities across the school. 
and I'm now pleased to say that they are genuinely regarded as outstanding. Some of the new first-class facilities we've added include new AstroTurf pitches, a professional quality sound studio, a £1.2 million new six-form build, a re refurbished student support centre and SEND learning area, two new science labs, and the list goes on. But please rest assured, if you choose Hinchley Wood School for your son or daughter, they will be joining a school with first-class and ever-improving facilities. The facilities that we now have set the standard for what we want to achieve across the school and our fundraising efforts to continue to enhance those facilities carry on each year. And in recent years, we've raised more than £50,000, with that money most recently being spent on a refurbishment of our main hall. And in everything we do, we want to provide for our students an outstanding range of opportunities. Whether your child's interested in dance or drama, maths or music, fashion or farming, they will have the opportunities to get involved. That broad and balanced curriculum offer starts from the very beginning of year seven. That opportunity to play a gamelan orchestra in music or cast pewter key rings in technology really does engage and inspire our students. It's a curriculum that continues this term regardless of any restrictions we may be facing during the current pandemic. We wanted our Year 7 students to experience that excitement, that buzz, as they joined the school. And that curriculum offer is supported by the widest possible range of enrichment opportunities. We're committed to a holistic education for all our students, and it's why we wish to offer them such a broad range of opportunities. Many of those opportunities are beyond the usual school day. We want our students to experience such enrichment. So that continues with art, drama, sports, and the widest possible range of musical groups, including a string group, samba band, DJ club, junior and upper school brass bands, the orchestra, a range of choirs, and many smaller ensembles, with more than 250 of our students each week taking musical instrument lessons here in school. There is no doubt that our music specialism really is an integral part of the life of the school. In sport, we're offering an increasing range of activities with competitive fixtures against other schools in netball, football, rugby, especially rugby league, where we had two teams in the National Cup quarterfinals in recent years, hockey with exciting links to Surbiton Hockey Club, cricket, rounders, cross country, athletics, squash, basketball, badminton and tennis. And wider opportunities include a diversity of activities. Two good examples are students who take part in the Duke of Edinburgh Award and those taking part in the Combined Cadet Force in conjunction with Reed Schools. We believe that these schemes help our young people develop key leadership skills and more than 50 students regularly participate each week. Enrichment activities are also available through the work of the house system with keenly contested competitions in art, music, drama through our four houses. Foreign visits have always been a regular feature of the work of the school and whether it's visiting Ypres, Japan or those students who go on the incredibly exciting World Challenge visits to India, Costa Rica, Borneo, to name just a few in recent years, or through our links to two schools in Gulu, Uganda, students really do have the opportunity to experience an international element to their learning. I'm sure you will not fail to notice that this is a school full of excitement, quality and experience. I hope I've given you a number of reasons to choose Hinchley Wood School for the next stage of the education of your son or daughter. And I hope I've given you the answer to two key questions. The first one, is this the right school for my child? And to put it another way, would my child be happy here and therefore succeed? I would say yes, wouldn't I? But don't take my word for it. Please do watch the video of our students in year seven and year 13 to hear their views of the education we have to offer. 
I've had the pleasure of speaking to a number of Year 7 students over the past couple of weeks as part of our regular cycle of leadership team learning walks around the school. And in speaking to those students, I asked them what I should say this evening about life at Hinchley Wood School, as well as many comments about the great variety in lessons, the range of opportunities, the delicious food and enthusiastic teachers. I was especially struck by a group of students who said, teachers are really friendly and always smiling and everyone's happy to help out. We also give our Year 7 students the opportunity to write to current Year 6 pupils to explain what life is like here at Hinchley Wood. It is a task that our students engage with enthusiastically, including comments such as, Hinchley Wood is a great place, school isn't scary at all, and it's really big, but you're more likely to have fun than to get lost. If you're a pupil in Year 6 watching this video, I hope that what you have seen will have you wanting to come and join us and that in March you might receive a letter like this one from Tallulah who said, I've heard that you're starting secondary school next year and I'm so excited for you. If you're coming to Hinchley Wood School, you'll absolutely love it. Trust me, you're going to have such a fun time. We pride ourselves on helping new arrivals to settle quickly. Hinchley Wood School is characterised by a warm welcome, exciting and vibrant lessons, teachers with a passion for their job, lessons that stretch and challenge our learners to value questions as much as answers, students with a genuine desire to learn who are happy to be here and understand that we're all learners. And despite some employers bemoaning the lack of appropriate skills in young people leaving the education system at the moment, we have a determination that our Hinchley Wood learners will be invested in the future with a core set of values that really will open the doors to their future. You'll see the five values displayed around the school that are so important to us, that enthusiasm and determination the confidence, consideration and independence we believe are so important in young lives. For our Hinchley Wood students, this isn't just a vision, but it's also a reality. The last school Ofsted inspection said, Hinchley Wood is an outstanding school. Students work exceptionally well together in this harmonious and cohesive community and achieve excellent outcomes. And most importantly, all students feel highly valued and safe. We're often told there's a buzz about the school, and if I was asked to sum up what makes Hinchley Wood School just so special, it isn't the outstanding results or the Ofsted report, but it's the positive relationships between staff and students, where it's not just okay to show you care, but that that approach is very much part of our ethos. Values set around respect, honesty, integrity and consideration for others, not just for students, but also for and between staff and role modelled by staff, caring for ourselves and each other. If what I've said this evening sounds like the sort of education you wish for your son or daughter, if you want to join a happy and vibrant learning community that really does inspire learners, I very much encourage you to apply so that your son or daughter can become part of the next exciting chapter here at Hinchley Wood School. If you're concerned about gaining a place or have any questions regarding admissions, please do take the time to watch the presentation from our admissions team available, available via our Open Evening webpage. If your child has a prime diagnosis of autism, and you're interested in further information regarding places in the Cullum Centre, please do speak to Mrs Brooks or email her at the Cullum Centre via the email address available on our website. Finally, thank you very much indeed for your interest in Hinchley Wood School. I do hope you enjoy the rest of the evening and whatever the decision, I wish you every success in choosing the right school for your son or daughter moving forwards.